Hello everyone. So today I'm going to read a snippet from chapter four from The Sense of Other, my new novel in the Love Beyond Reason series that's coming out on the 15th of August, although it's on pre-order right now. Anyway, this is the cover. I love this cover. <laughs> and like I said, the other books are now also having their covers redone. Okay, so this is chapter four. And as I said in my previous uh, video, some of the scenes in this novel are metaphysical and so set in the afterlife. And this is one of them. Okay, so it may not make sense to hear the snippets, but I know that when you put it all together, it'll be mind blowing, I hope. <laughs> I hope you'll like it. Anyway, so this is chapter five. The scenes fade and the panels are impossibly white again, innocent even, as though they had not just been alive with awful snippets from my life. Watching it like this magnifies the horror of it, as though it happened to someone else. It shocked me. I stare at the screens. I'd shudder if I could. The neglect, poverty and wrongness of that life were appalling. I didn't fully understand how dreadful it was when I was in it, and I was too young to see it. I thought I'd be sad, but I'm not. There's a flicker of sorrow, but I seem unable to access emotions in the way I did when I was alive. I'm not indifferent to the suffering I saw on the screen of my life, but I don't feel the urge to rant about it as I once did. In place of the grief and anger, I now feel only a calm acceptance and an overwhelming wish to help. It might be too late for my family, but there are others. If I could ease their pain, their suffering, it would... What? What would it do for them? For me, especially now, I'm no longer part of their world, am I? But even as I ponder this question and feel my brain will explode, I can't deny the wrongness, the injustice, the horrendousness. No one should suffer like that. I don't know the answer. Something else occurred to me earlier when I was watching my family. I've often heard of free will. We all have free will. If it were true, why would anyone choose that life? It's one of the many questions that's appeared in my mind. It amazed me because I don't think such profound things normally. Perhaps it's because I'm no longer constricted in my body that my mind is unchained too. I'm surprised to find myself sitting on the floor, my head in my hands. So, I'm not as unaffected as I thought. He is still here, extending a hand. He's helping me up. His eyes look deep into mine and I can read his compassion clearly. His voice echoes slightly through the chamber, but I realise it's only in my head. Are you all right? Well, I hope that little sn snippet whetted your appetite and that uh, you look forward to the release of the sense of other as much as I do. This was not an easy book to write I'll be honest with you it was very difficult because um, well you'll see you'll see when you read it you'll see why it was difficult for me to write but I know that the beta readers who've read it loved it and have said wonderful things about it. And I'm so grateful and delighted. And I can't wait for you all to also read it and come to know the story. That means so much. So until next time. Mwah.